Okay. Hope I'm live. All right, we are live. Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm Zykira Casado. I'm the author of Healthy is Sexy. And I just love to help people make good food taste good. And um, I want to just, first of all, thank everybody for the support. These last couple videos, um, just been really a big blessing to see you guys share them and actually gain value from them. And it's very encouraging when you guys let a sister know that you're liking something she's doing because it keeps me going and keeps me excited about doing it. So today I wanted to show you one of the most simplest ways to make one of the most asked about condiments, which is guacamole. And if you don't like guacamole or don't know what it is, I'm going to give you a quick lesson of what it is. This is what guacamole is. It's basically smashed up avocado that's packed with some flavor and that's about it. But it literally only takes a few minutes to make it, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, again, the comments, if you're commenting, are on a delay, so I am going to take a look at all comments in a second. Uh, let me make sure we are live. Yes, we are live. Hi, Ashton! Hi, Tyrone! How you guys doing? Ashton is re reviewing this video in Uganda, and I will be in Africa darn it soon. So, Ashton, be ready. I can't wait to meet you and the missus. You guys are awesome. And thanks for your support, Tyrone. So, let's get to it. Let's show you exactly a very simple way to do it. Um, take you to the ingredients now. We have some awesome avocados. We have two um, whole avocados. We have some tomatoes. We have some yellow um, onion. And I do have some red onion. I'm really beginning to believe that the reason why people don't use red onion in cooking is in like cooking something that's going to get hot or what have you is because of the color of it. You know, when you cook and they're very strong, but I like to add this to my guacamole because it gives such an amazing flavor. So first thing you want to do is get you a bowl. You got to make sure that your avocado is ripe and this is like borderline. You should wait a little bit longer. Um, but they're just about right where we can actually use them. But you want to have a soft, um, you know, the flesh is nice and ripe. And an easy way to tell is by squeezing them. And if they squeeze and let you actually squeeze them, like right there, um, it, we could let them sit for a little longer. But we're going to go ahead and make these. So here you want to just pit out your the flesh of the avocado. Um, and this is how I get my seed out, is I just put the knife in the middle, pull it out just like that. Um, some people just spoon it out. Whatever floats your boat, just get the seed out, y'all. And if you're a gardener, garden it. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Actually, I have to do a plant update for you guys soon, show you what's happening and what has happened. So let's get our avocado out of here. That's a pretty big avocado. That's a lot. I'm going to just eat the, that off of there. I don't like the way it's good food. Again, if you don't know how to take the seed out because it's very tough, some people spoon it out, and you can certainly just pull it out. That's the safest way to get it out. Or you can use a knife like I did the first one. And if y'all liking this so far, don't forget to give me a share, y'all. Give me a share. So we're going to just take the avocado out. Again, this could be a little bit more ripe, but it is what it is. We already opened it, so we're going to have to make it do what he do. You could actually pop it in the oven. To get it out so if it's really really ripe you won't have any problems like this to take all the flesh out so i'm going to wash my hands um, again because that's a lot of avocado in there next all you're going to do is actually smash up stuff one of the most or unorthodox things that i use in my um, um guacamole is actually soya sauce i have no clue why i love soya sauce so much but it eliminates you having to um use the actual um a lot of salt in this because you know avocado i mean not avocado but soya sauce has salt in it so you don't really need that and i like the flavor that these two actually come it's like a nice perfect marriage um if you never have tried soya sauce in it so here i'm gonna just chop these up use the liquid from the soya sauce if you're frustrated people getting on your nerve get you some avocado to make you some guacamole 
like that mofo-ish stuff. No, I'm just kidding. But it is a great stress reliever um, if you're trying to get some stress or get your arms. So you just want to chop, chop, chop. Again, the riper it is, the easier it is to chop up. So this is going to take me a little bit longer because I thought they were riper, riper, but it is what it is. So we're just going to chop these up. Keep chopping them. You can put it inside of a food processor if you want. Um, that might be a good alternative to a not so ripe avocado. Um, but you just want to keep chopping these up. Okay? Just keep chopping them up. I'm going to add a little bit more soya sauce just because it's going to make it easier for it to chop. So we're just going to chop these this up. I do have two other ones that I wanted to use, but when I squeeze those suckers, they're not budging at all. So, I'm just going to chop, chop, chop. And this is the boring part, so I'm going to go to any comments. How y'all doing this Sunday? Hope y'all doing well. Uh, hope you're having a blessed Sunday. I know my kids are hungry, so I will not be here that long tonight or today with you. I'm going to also pull out a knife because it doesn't feel that so you're just going to chop it up. And don't forget to share this video, y'all. Sharing is caring. You don't need permission to share. Some people be asking me, Akira, can I share this? Can I please share this, Akira? What? Of course you can. Please. Share this video. I'm just going to keep chopping. Keep chopping. I ain't going to lie. My arm hurt, y'all. I'm going to have to switch arms. Whew. All right, so as you see, the avocado is getting that mixture. This is going to be a clumpy one. But remember, the riper it is, the smoother it is. Okay? The next thing we're going to do is add our onion. Make sure it's nice and separated. I'm going to add a little bit of the red onion. And I'll have all ingredient amounts for each and every one of you guys. I still have to post my other ones. I'm not going to use all of this. Um, here. Then I have some cumin, some red pepper, I mean red cayenne pepper, which is optional. I just love it. And some pepper. Pour that on there. We're also going to take some lime. Fresh lime. Hey, did you guys know where to go? I thought I just saw a sticker. Anytime you see a sticker on some fruit, please know that it's edible. So if you bake a mistake and eat them, I found out that they're actually edible. Isn't that crazy? But it's actually edible. So what we're going to do is we are going to mix this up. And that lime is going to help get that avocado down. Just mix it all nice and together. The tomato is actually um, optional as well because you don't need to have tomato, so if you don't like tomato, you certainly don't have to have it in there. So we're going to mix that all together. Remember, all week, this is your stress thing, all week. Co-worker pissing you off, get you some avocados. Kids driving you crazy, get you some avocados. Bay acting up, get you some avocados. <laughs> Have fun with it, y'all. That's what I love to do. Have fun. If, it ain't, if I ain't having fun, I, I don't know what to rhyme with that. Somebody rhyme that for me. All right. I'm going to see if we have any more comments real quick because this is a very quick um, recipe. Let me wash my hands again. I done made a mess, but that's okay. Got a little extra here. This could be a little salsa for sure. I'm going to add the rest of that lime to this. Lime and lemon taste totally different. It's just something about lime and avocado. Everybody has their own way of making stuff. This here, I don't know what it is about the soya sauce. And I don't even know what made me try the soya sauce. But I'm telling you, try it, y'all. So after a whole bunch of chopping, again, if it's riper, the riper it is, the less strain, okay? And that's it, y'all. I'm going to give it a try. 
what I use avocado for is for a lot of different things. I use it for uh, toppings on my um, on my salads because you know if you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to maintain your weight, one of the biggest killers is we have a lot of people who eat a bunch of salad, but they drench it with um, they drench it with um, what do they drink it with? Oh, salad dressing, and it's like it's no point of even eating the salad. So this is a really easy way of um, not going backwards in your salad eating. Also, I use it on on burgers. Girl, boy, bye. And I tell you, it is amazing on burgers, Lord Jesus. So I do have a salad that I chefed up yesterday. Doesn't that look pretty? And I'm just going to take a quick bowl. I'm going to take some of this salad. See this? So we have our lovely salad. We're going to take some avocado, pop it right on top. I'm going to try this. Oh my God. I'm going to stop eating this because I took a long time to make dinner today. I don't want my kids to be hating me right now because I know they're like, wait a minute, can I try? I don't know if I got some taste testers in here that want to try some of this, but this is good. Any taste testers going once, going twice? Don't forget to keep following me on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, share these videos. I, my team is I'm putting together a team here where we could literally get um, some, you know, a lot of stuff on that YouTube and all of that good stuff. But just follow me here on Facebook. You go to healthyandsexytv.com, healthyandsexyshow.com, and we'll get you, you'll be able to get it. Oh, you don't like tomatoes. You saw his face, like, why is she giving me tomatoes? Say hi to everybody. You lie. Come in the camera. Don't be scared. That's my baby. He's going to be 13 Wednesday, but we just had a surprise party for him. All right, so I'm going to give him, I think I ate all the avocado off, baby. A little bit of salad, and we're gonna eat dinner. You like it? Scale of one to ten. Ten. I'm gonna give myself a nine because it's always room for improvement. But thank you for my ten. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for waiting. Before I leave, I'm gonna see if we have any comments real quick. Let me see here. Any comments? Hey, Ashton, we're doing well. Nice show, Kira. Thank you, Ashton. Keith said, looking good. What are you making? I'm making avocado, Keith. Thank you for watching. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys have a blessed Sunday. And please share my video, y'all. Just share it. Sharing is key.